Hi everyone, I'm Amy Johnson Crow, and thank you for joining me on this video where we are going to explore the hidden features of Ancestry.com's new image viewer. When we're looking at a record, sometimes it isn't exactly clear what it is we're looking at. And that's certainly the case when looking at this record for George Nevins. Now I can see from the title that this is from the Kansas State Census Collection, 1885 to 1925, but I'm not that familiar with Kansas State Censuses, so just looking at it, I can't tell what year this is from. And when I look at this particular image, they didn't even fill in what county it is. So I don't know where or when this record was created. On the old image viewer, they used to display up here at the top the year, the location, the county, the township. But on the new image viewer, they've stripped out a lot of the text. So if you're looking at this image and you want more information about it, how can you get it? If your page looks like this and all you have is the image and the name of the collection up at the top, Look over on the right-hand side of your browser and you will see different icons. One of those icons is a straight line with an arrow that points to the left. Click on that icon. When you click on that, it opens up a new set of menus and a new set of text that we can learn more about this image that we're looking at. And there are three different tabs. One tab is called Detail, and it's the record that we were looking at, in this case, George Nevins, and it's the information that has been indexed from this record. So we see that it's George Nevins, we have the census date of 1 March 1885, that it's Lynn County in Kansas, and it's Scott Township. And as we look at the bottom part, we see the information that is specific to this entry for George Nevins. And we can also scroll down and we have links to the other people who are also in this record. So if we wanted a quick way to look at what they've indexed for Millie Nevins, we could just click on her name. Also on this menu is a tab for related records. When we click on that, we can see what other records Ancestry thinks pertains to this George Nevins. Now they may or may not, but they're worth looking at. The tab that I really like on this extended menu is the Source tab. When I click on that, I get a source citation. I see a little more description about this particular record and I can see more background information about where this collection came from. In this case, I see that this information has come from microfilm from the Kansas Territory Census from the Kansas State Historical Society. And I can even see, in this case, all of the exact microfilm reels for the various census years. And as I scroll down even further, there's more information about this source, a little bit of background and more information that can help me evaluate what it is I'm looking at. If we scroll back to the top of this source tab, another great feature that I like, and again, this is something that used to be at the top of the image, but is now over here on this extended menu. Let's say that I want to now explore other townships in Lynn County in 1885. I can click on this drop down and I could now browse the images for Blue Mound or for Centerville or Mound City or any of the other townships or locations that are in Lynn County. If I wanted to, I could switch to a different county, let's say Lincoln County in 1885 and select a township there. Perhaps I want to explore Battle Creek. 
and when we do that, the page will refresh, and now I'm looking at the 1885 Kansas State Census for Battle Creek in Lincoln County, Kansas. And I can use the navigation down here at the bottom to scroll through the images. If I'm done with this particular menu, I can click the little icon. Now the arrow is pointing to the right. If I click that, it hides that menu. So the features that we got used to in the old image viewer on Ancestry are still there. They're just hidden behind this extended menu. And remember, to see that extended menu, click the icon with the arrow pointing to the left, and you can explore the different tabs to see the source, related records, and detail. I hope you have found this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comments below. If you're interested in more genealogical tips, tricks, and just overall genealogical goodness, please visit me at my site, amyjohnsoncrow.com. Thanks, and have a great day.